This room is full of determination. These women are preparing themselves to work as domestic helpers in foreign countries. Suryani begins her day at 8.30 in the morning. She's learning to be an elderly caretaker. But before she's assigned to chores, she heads to class where she'll learn basic Mandarin to help her communicate fluently in countries such as Hong Kong and Singapore. This training helps me a lot, especially to communicate with my future employers in Mandarin. Suryani prefers to secure jobs outside of Indonesia. Not only does it expose her to new experiences, it pays five times more. The salary I receive from working abroad can help educate my siblings and also start small businesses back home. These women are on the right track. President Joko Widodo wants to stop sending unskilled labor abroad by 2017. The new policy requires Indonesia to only provide highly trained professionals as domestic helpers. According to Widodo, it's an important plan to preserve the country's dignity. The deal makes it mandatory for workers to stay separately from their employers. They're entitled to get public holidays off and work a regular 9 to 5 shift. It's an ambitious plan, but one that promises better protection for Indonesian workers abroad. Our government is considering a stated plan. If we improve the competency of skilled laborers, there is a possibility that they can live separately from their employers. But it all has to be discussed with the receiving countries. Hindarno says it will be executed in phases, starting out with professionalizing informal employment. That gives Chi Kyung an opportunity to grow his recruitment network even bigger. In this training center, we teach all of our candidates the basics of domestic work, such as work ethics. Because as domestic helpers or elderly sitters, they have to know how to interact with their future employers professionally. That's good news for women like Suryani, who's ready to take on the job she's been long trained to do. Sulkina Aluwalia, CCTV, Jakarta.